Well, since we have this long walk, I can ask you a few more questions about, uh, I want to talk a little bit about your life growing up. Obviously, you're the son of the former Oil King great. You're the son of the former first captain of the Edmonton Oilers. So uh, growing up in Edmonton, what's it like to kind of, you know, go through all that? Day? We, we have one more T-Box yeah. to go. We oh, can keep walking. Wow. <laughs> There's yeah. another one. Yeah. Well, Meg, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's pretty neat. And it's, uh, you know, to have had the kind of childhood that I had, being able to grow up and skate at, at Rexall, I guess it was a Coliseum at the time. But that was a big part of my youth. You know, I was... I was born after the Oil King days, but it's it's funny to see how many people still remember my dad from that era and the impact that it had on the city. So it's pretty neat to be involved with the Oil Kings now. And, uh, you know, we've had some pretty successful seasons here and recapture a bit of that uh, Oil King mystique from the 60s. How cool is it now to just to be part of the organization that your dad was such a big part of? Well, it's, it's really neat. You know, it was something when I uh, when we first started talking uh, you know, you look at your future as a coach and obviously had some success in Spruce Grove and when the opportunity arose to be part of the Oil Kings here was really a no-brainer and an opportunity. I'm an Edmontonian through and through and my family's here and love it and, and to be able to stay in our community and, and be part of it, it was unbelievable. So I'm very fortunate and very thankful and I, you know, I'm, uh, I just think it's uh, such a neat organization to be a part of and, and they do it first class. Very cool. Well, we've arrived.